That is a good question. What does wine mean to me? Wine is, I, let's put it that way, wine accompanies human civilization since there is human civilization. Wine is cultural heritage, wine is gift from God, wine is legacy. And um, wine is totally different from any other drink. When you invite guests to your home and um, they enjoy the wine, then you are proud to have chosen the right bottle. If they don't enjoy the wine, then you tell your wife, I knew that this wine is far too good for these people. Yeah? That is a kind of reaction you would never have with any liquor or beer or whatsoever. Yeah? So it's a personal emotion. Yeah? And wine is emotion. And that's why the reason why we all like to drink wine, to experience wine, because we learn and we know exactly that wine has a total different identity in history. And to me, it's very important when uh, I like history, I think um, we all should know where our roots are, we should know where we come from. And so is with wine. When, you see, when, when I go back in history and uh, when I open the, the Bible and the Gospel, that from the first to the last page, it's wine talk. Yeah? Uh, the first thing Noah did after the great flood, he planted a vineyard. Why did he plant a vineyard? Yes, he could have done, he, he could have, uh, you could have made a diary farm or something. No, he planted a vineyard. Yeah, so it's it is important because it's always it it interacts our doing here with the blessing from Lord Himself. I think that's very important. Or another example when in the gospel when Jesus went public. So the first miracle that is reported from Jesus Christ was not the healing of the wounded or or people that had uh, physical or mental problems. No, it was the wedding of Canaan. And why is that in the, in the Gospel of St. John? Why is that reported as the first miracle? My explanation is because it, that story attracted attention to the public, to the audience. Yeah? So, w wow, wow, someone was able to turn water into wine. Let's listen what he has to tell. And, and this is just something to say. But when we go to the, to the old Egyptian culture, yes? for example, people, in the, people were drinking red wine, but the pharaoh was drinking white wine. That could be seen from the, from the uh, tomb of Tutankhamun, yeah? and <laughs> this young king who passed away at the age of 19 years old. Yes? They, they found remnants of white wine in, in, in his tomb chamber. Or when we go to the old uh, Sumer culture in Iraq nowadays, Mesopotamia, wine. Yeah? Wherever we go, wine. To the, in the Black Sea cultures, the old uh, country cultures, which is now Georgia there, wine. Yeah? Everywhere is wine. And I think that's so important. And to me, wine is part of my um, family identity, Wine is the history of the landscape I come from and um, there is so much knowledge and wisdom involved from, given from one generation to the next. So I think that's really important to learn about wine, to learn no more as people who like to drink wine are always people who are really savvy and interested and go a step forward.